I hope you both realize that everyone here in this church today are your biggest fans. We love you. And we are thrilled that you found each other with whom to spend the rest of your lives. When I saw you standing there Under the stars I knew it wouldn't be the last time we are so happy that Devin found a husband that she can be fearless, fun, and together with for the rest of her life. We knew that Michael was the one for Devin the first time we ever heard her talking about him, and we could tell right from that first interaction that he had all the attributes that we wanted in our husband for her. We could write an end the story through the struggle and the glory by your side I will stay easy being teammates for life. It's not easy living this beautiful vocation, but it is possible in Christ. I did do my best to spoil my daughters, but I failed. Both my daughters have focused their talents and careers on helping people, easing suffering, and making the world a better place. And I'm so proud. There's a beauty that guides us like a fire in the night as the sun shines upon happier days are ahead for you as your love for each other continues to grow. And it will if you keep inviting Christ to be your coach and to be the one to guide your marriage. There's a beauty that guides us like a fire in the night as the sun shines upon inviting Christ into your marriage, and he will help you to give of yourselves totally to each other. This is love. We could write and end the story through the struggle and the glory by your side. I will stay. We will never fade away. We could sail the sky together till our skin is old and weathered by your side i will stay we will never fade away a few months later i found out that i was going to move to richmond virginia and then not too long after that devin was also moving to virginia and it was here where i could see that devin not only cared about michael deeply but also about myself and just others it was here where I could see the kind of girl that Michael would fall in love with. It was also here that I could see Devin not only become my best friend's fiance or wife, but one of my best friends as well. And how lucky am I to say that two of my best friends get to share their lives together. Wait, is there anything you'd like to say? I'm smiling in the silence, wondering if you are even
God, the Eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. It is now my great joy and honor to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Springer. I texted Mike, um, that I have a story to tell him. So he responds with, you know, what is it? But I have a story to tell you too. So I go ahead and tell my story about how the apartment that I was about to get, about to live in, is getting condemned. And then he responds with, I met my wife tonight. Now my immediate reaction was extremely joyful and happy for my best friend. But my next reaction was, why in the world did I go first? Make me an Devin asked me to be her maid of honor. I knew I would have to make a speech, um, so I sneakily asked her how she knew that Michael was the one for her. And this is the text message that she sent me verbatim. I kind of always knew. I just realized that life is better with him and we make a good team. When I picture my life in 10 years, he's the one that's sitting next to me on the couch. I would give anything for him and do anything for him. He is the one that I want to do all of the good stuff and all of the bad stuff in life with. In all the time we've known Devin, we've never seen her as happy as she's been since she started dating Michael. So cheers to the two of you, a happy marriage and a long life together. People often say that Devin is a lot like her mother, and it is true there are many similarities. They both care more than others think is wise. They give more than others think is prudent, and they love till it hurts. Michael, as I marry the earlier model, I think I can share a few words to you, tell you a few things. Some people consider marrying as getting married as settling down. Whether you know it or not, you've chosen a different path. Since you guys met at Hershey Park, I'll use this analogy. Your life till now has been a ride on the trailblazer. <laughs> With maybe an occasional wildcat. But starting today, get ready for a daily dose of storm runners and Fahrenheit's. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride. And Michael, if your life was filled, was filled with the same amount of joy, the last 30 years have brought me, you are one lucky man. Michael, I can't believe this day is finally here. So much planning, preparation, anxiety, sweat, tears, and stress went into this extremely beautiful day. And I'm honestly in awe of it all. Today is the day that I get to make you my wife the day that we declare in front of all of our loved ones that we were made for each other. 
I absolutely cannot believe that I get to marry you. Out of everyone in the world, I could have never imagined someone as absolutely perfect as you are for me. It's incredible to think of everything we've accomplished together that has led to this beautiful moment. You are my best friend. You are my soulmate. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Hi, Devin. Take you, Michael. Take you, Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. Hi, Michael. Take you, Devin. Take you, Devin. To be my wife to be my wife. I thank God every day for blessing me with such an incredible woman that I get to love every single day for the rest of my life. You are mine and I am yours. I can't wait to say our vows and put that ring on your finger. With you, I smile bigger, laugh harder, and love freely and without hesitation. You have taught me how to love selflessly, feel confident in myself, and trust God above all else. I can't wait to do life with you by my side as husband and wife. I love you so much, Devin. I have loved you for 995 days, and my only regret is that I didn't meet you sooner so that I could love you longer.